Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and today we are gonna be testing a brand new product I'm so excited for. They are two new products from NYX Cosmetics, and they are marshmallow related. Yes, we have a brand new marshmallow primer, and honestly, I am most excited about this. We have the marshmallow blending sponge and it's so puffed up so you guys can probably barely tell but there is a little heart imprinted on it and it looks and feels just like a real marshmallow. It's so crazy, I'm so excited. I think like marshmallow is gonna be the new beauty trend. You guys know, like every couple of months, I feel like there is like a new thing that like every brand puts out a product that is themed like something. Like, do you guys remember a couple years ago, it was unicorns and then it was peaches and then like, what are some of the other things that we've seen? But it's like one brand will do something that is really unique and cool. And then I feel like all the other brands are like, oh my God, this product is like so successful. Cause I saw, who else did it? Wet and Wild, I think, just came out with a marshmallow lip. I, I really don't know what it is. I just saw it today, but I was just shocked. I'm like a marshmallow, so many marshmallow related things. And then I saw marshmallow scented perfume. It's getting crazy out there with the marshmallows stuff but I'm very excited to try it and they say it actually has marshmallow extract in it which I am just so surprised because what is marshmallow extract like I thought marshmallow was like man-made food thing I don't know this is what the product looks like it comes in a little pump it's 17 dollars it is a 10 in 1 smoothing super primer infused with smoothing marshmallow root extract for 10 outstanding makeup extending benefits it's supposed to have a soft whipped texture it dries down totally transparent and it's of course supposed to work for all skin types and skin tones it's supposed to smooth soften and extend makeup wear for 16 hours hydrates smooths even tones minimize texture blurs lines and adds a soft focus finish and keeps makeup fresh it is vegan formula and cruelty free and then the sponge is nine dollars and they say of course you can use this with any makeup product you want foundation powder concealer cream contour any old thing it's all up to you but you know they did sort of make these two products as a pairing so you know they say ideally you should apply the marshmallow primer with the marshmallow sponge so i'm excited we're gonna do a before and after of course with just the primer now i feel like my face does look a little bit red because every time i wash my face or touch my skin it's just poof, tomato so uh let's go ahead and do a couple of pumps and wow Oh my God, you guys, it smells like marshmallow, like faintly like marshmallow though, which I find pleasant. I like when makeup products are slightly scented. I feel like sometimes brands do go overboard with fragrance. Like earlier, I was talking about the peach thing and I don't remember what brand it was, but there was a peach blush and it was so peach stinky that I just couldn't get into using it, even though I really loved the color of the product. So I don't know. Fragrance can go either way. You guys have to let me know what your technique for like foundation and primer and stuff is. Do you put the product directly on the sponge and then apply it to your face? Or do you put it, you know, on a makeup palette or on the back of your hand and then pick up the product? I'm actually going to put it on the sponge today because when I saw their little um, social media like launch video for this product, that's what they did. And then they just dotted it on to the face and then oh my god i can't get over the fragrance and then they blended it out and i'm kind of torn with what side of the marshmallow sponge i don't know i feel like i am kind of weird sometimes because i don't use like the base like the bottom end of a beauty blender i always use the side i don't know why and i swear this smells like some kind of I almost said something dumb. I almost said, this smells like some kind of candy, but it's almost like, 
not just marshmallow because marshmallows are not like necessarily that fragrant to me almost like laffy taffy or something but very very faintly see i feel like i didn't necessarily get like the amount of primer i would normally use just then which might mean I use too much. The one concern that I had about this blender sponge was like, would I really be able to effectively use it on my eyes? Uh, you know, for like concealer and, you know, color corrector and all of that, but you really can pinch it and it's so soft. I feel like it really, you know, gets in there on the curves of your face. So let's see. See, I feel like I could use a little bit more primer in the chin area so i'm gonna pick up just a little bit and it's really pleasant because it does have like a lightly whipped texture it's not like super foamy or something but it does just feel nice so so far so good okay i'm gonna let this dry down for just a second because they say it dries clear which is kind of interesting because i don't know if i've ever heard of another primer that says it dries down clear so let's see okay i will be right back okay so uh, there is the before and after side by side i do see a slight trans mm, transparent clear kind of glaze now it's not thick or anything it doesn't feel very sticky you know how some primers like the milk hydro what is it called hydro grip or something like that's a super tacky primer it doesn't feel like that it does you know all around feel like i have a product on my face but yeah i mean right now it just feels like a very nice weightless primer it doesn't feel like too thick i don't know i feel like i'm gonna have to just apply the rest of my makeup really quick and we'll see how it works with my foundation and all of my other steps now normally i do start out with depending on if i'm like self tanning or not i will start out with one of these clinique id products that is that's kind of been my primer as of late and sometimes i will go in with the uh dior air flash radiance mist as a primer it feels like a primer do you know what i mean but like i can't call out any specific attribute at the moment so i feel like i'm gonna have to do the rest of my makeup and then we'll see how everything looks all together and I will come in with my final thoughts. All right, you guys, final check-in time, and I am in love with both of these products. I really just feel like my makeup went on like super well today. I didn't do anything like really out of the ordinary. Like this is just like my basic, quick, everyday makeup look. Now, the only other thing that I did do is I switched back to my favorite foundation of all time, which is the IT Cosmetics CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. I love this stuff, but I feel like this foundation and this primer is a magical duo because I do not remember the last time that my skin really did look like this. I don't, I don't even want to say like puffy but do you know what i mean i feel like my skin just looks like on the cusp of dewy like everything is still matte but it doesn't look dry that's what i'm trying to say my skin does not look dry so i went back through with the blender and i filmed little clips so you guys could see i put on my under eye concealer i went through with a spray foundation for a little bit of this dior air flash i normally put that in places where my makeup tends to crease the most as like an extra base layer before i put on the rest of my foundation so kind of in my t-zone and and you know my nose and around my mouth here so like I said did the foundation I also blended out my cream contour um, also my spray mist highlighter I put it on the sponge first and then blended it out so I absolutely love both of these products I'm gonna try and remember to do another check-in because you know my makeup is just like freshly completed right now but I mean right now I have like no creasing or anything like even where I normally do but I am planning on you know filming some other videos and stuff today so I'm gonna try and remember to do like another check-in and we can see like how 
long this makeup lasts in this sort of like, you know, flawless look here. But so far, highly recommend. Love both of these products. All right, I did remember to do a check-in. So I have had this makeup on for hours and hours and hours at this point, and I'm gonna take an up close look, but yeah, wow, okay. So I feel like I always get some creasing literally right here in between my eyebrows because I am always like squinting my eyes. I feel like that's a habit that I picked up when I was a kid because for some reason I just thought looking like this all the time was cute. I don't, I don't know where I got that from. And so those are definitely like the most pronounced lines on my face and the quickest place on my face for my makeup to get jacked. But also usually around my mouth, like my smile lines, I feel like they are usually much more creasy and more visible than they are currently. And I have been talking a lot because I've been doing TikToks and I've been filming a couple videos for you guys. So I feel like normally by the time that I am like this far in to my daily wear of makeup, I feel like it does usually look creasier than this. So I really feel like the primer has made a huge amount of difference. Cause like I said, I love this foundation, love it to death. But I feel like these two working together is just like a really good mixture. Even hours later, I still highly recommend that you guys test out these two new products. I love the blender too. I love it. I love it. Okay. I should go ahead and do the outro, but thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. As always, I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, uh, hit subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will be back again very, very soon. Bye!